Back to the stage. Let's make some noise for your next comedian, Pat Barker. Let's hear it for him. Dan Nab is walking across America in March. I am not. <laughs> no fucking way, man. I don't feel like walking from over there to over there to get out of this room tonight. But I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Tell you guys a little bit about myself. My name's Pat, I'm 23. I'm a recovering anorexic. <laughs> 23 years have not fallen off the wagon once. Some people say, Pat, you shouldn't make fun of anorexia. That's a real disease, right? Anorexia is a real disease. I don't know, guys. I'm no doctor, but I've, I've developed a theory. Any disease that can be cured with Cheetos, not a real disease. They don't hand out prescriptions for Reese's peanut butter cups. I know, because I've asked. So, I uh, just recently graduated college. Any college people in here? Make some noise. Man, there were some classes, this is, maybe college people can back me up. You ever have a class where you sit there and you have no idea what the fuck they're talking about the entire semester? You're like, I've been in this class for 12 weeks, I should know something. I had four of those classes my last semester. One of them, managing international business, which is just way too lofty of a goal for me. You know, I don't think I can handle like a popsicle stand, let alone an international business. I go into class on the first day, the first day, the professor's like, why don't we go around the room, have everybody tell us about your experience managing international businesses. And I'm like, this guy is on crack, man. We're 21 years old, we don't have experience, I was wrong. The first girl's like, oh yeah, I do all my internships in France, and I have a six-figure a year job waiting for me over there when I graduate. And the next guy was like, I have a home business, and we route our products through Southeast Asia. It got to me, I was like, I worked at Taco Bell for a couple of months. We had tostadas. They're Mexican. And I did my internship at a little place called the International House of Pancakes. So fuck off, Frenchie. I did work at Taco Bell back when it was like a reputable... It, it was never reputable. But we didn't have like E. coli and all that. We just had shitty food. <laughs> so um, I don't know, man. It's good to it's good to hear so much positive energy in the crowd tonight. It's very good because I'm a positive person. Any other positive people out here? It's good to see. You know, I got that from my mom. My mom was always really positive, and she told me her secret when I was like three years old. She was like. You know, I just think of the song from The Sound of Music. You guys ever hear that song from The Sound of Music? No, you guys are like, no, we're straight. The Sound of Music. There was a song, Julie Andrews on The Sound of Music. She's singing about her favorite things. Yeah, somebody's heard the song, right? And it's just like the most random, arbitrary things. They're clearly only her favorite things because they rhyme. She's like, I like kittens and mittens and wings and strings. <laughs> mittens, really? That's one of your favorite things in the whole world? Mittens? Stupid, man. And then she goes on to say, she's like, when the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I just remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. That's great advice. Except evidently, Miss Andrews has never actually been bitten by a dog. <laughs> I have, okay? That shit hurts. And you can think about, you know, kittens and mittens and wings and strings all you want. It's not going to help. You're never going to see a dude getting bitten by a dog. You know, the dog latches onto his leg. He's like, ah, ah, oh my god, ah, ah, ah. Mittens, mittens. They keep my hands warm in the winter. This isn't so bad. Nice dog. When the dog bites, when the bee stings. You know when you're just feeling sad, guys? I'm feeling sad. I think that would have worked for like Kurt Cobain. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh. He was feeling sad. You know? I just wonder if it would have ever gotten to that point with him where he was just like, you know what, man? The world is bullshit. I can't take it anymore. I'm out of here. 
Oh wait, string. I completely forgot. I love string. Everything about silly string, string cheese. My guitar has strings. I'm completely overreacting to a bunch of nonsense. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you. Man working here in 2007. One more round of applause. He did very well.